Rectal cancer and bowel cancer in general are the big one really because these are the cancers that if we get everything exactly right we cure people and if we get it even more right we save them the price of a colostomy or damage to their sexual function um, so we've got improvements in all sorts of ways. Well, the title came about because we surgeons uh, had dreamed up the idea of challenging the dogmas that seemed to be adhered to despite progress that suggests better ways of doing things. And the demons, if you like, are the dogmas that we think are holding up progress and the angels are, of course, all us chaps coming along with better ideas, and we believe better. We can take each branch of the management of rectal cancer in turn, and we do in this uh, really exciting conference next month. Imaging the assessment of the cancer, particularly MRI imaging and the various new ways in which uh, we can get more information about the enemy before we tackle it. Precision to take out exactly the right block, the monoblock, the embryologically determined block of tissue, the TME, which uh, is particularly dear to my heart, following exactly the right planes around the cancer monoblock which has the best chance of curing the cancer and at the same time just outside that preserving the nerves of sexual function what I call pelvic happiness if you like all the things below the waist that uh, the sexual function continence uh, all the things that make life uh, in some ways uh, richer uh, than just survival after cancer surgery. One of the biggest things is that the philosophy has developed here um, along the lines initially proposed by Angelita Habragama from Sao Paulo in Brazil. She'll be here and she was the first person in the world to realize that there was a significant proportion and now an increasing proportion of cancers which chosen for radiotherapy uh, will disappear altogether when radio and chemotherapy are combined and the timing is looked at very carefully it's going to be a big angelic assault about timing that it's not always necessary to rush to the surgery rather better wait and see whether the cancer disappears altogether um, and we're going to advance the current evidence for that that's another angelic attack if you like on on a dogma which says we must rush it's a cancer we must get it out quickly so we think that's old-fashioned thinking and and a lot of people actually can be saved surgery altogether or operated upon with more downstaging so that the surgery is less damaging to the patient and more certain of cure. So we think there's a big place for a big rethink about timing. We've been thinking about this meeting uh, that we're now calling Angels and Demons in Rectal Cancer for a long time. It represents really years of work and of new thinking about uh, the dogmas, the, the, the old, and what we think are perhaps old fashioned ideas that sort of uh, slow up progress. So, we'd like you to come to the Champalamo Foundation. It's a beautiful building in the most wonderful spot at the mouth of the River Teju uh, in lovely Lisbon, a beautiful city to come to. Uh, and February 22nd, 23rd, as we launch all our angels at the various uh, demons that are slowing up progress.